Greetings, fans. There's some rough water ahead, so for a safe journey, remain seated with your seat belt fastened. Keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the raft, and be sure to watch your children. Thank you, and enjoy Opposite Attractions. Attractions, ladies and gentlemen, the podcast about creating the world's most amazing theme park. It is, of course, the experimental prototype podcast of tomorrow. I am your host, Scotty Moore, joined as always by my partner, Mr. Jim Murphy. Hiya, pal. <laughs> he's he's back. Huh? <laughs> It's been so long since we've had Mickey around. He's a little broken, I'm sorry. <laughs> the the, uh, the animatronic has gone a little bit bad. It's all right. Uh, it, I mean, it, well, it's nowhere near as bad as... as la- you, last week you tried to introduce me to the new Mickey Mouse cartoons, and God is his Yeah, the only off. thing I can do is when he goes... <laughs> That's about all I can do. <laughs> yeah. Like it's like some it's like a college dropout attempting to do a Mickey Mouse impression. And like it wouldn't stick out so bad if it wasn't for the fact that in like the new Mickey Mouse cartoons, well Goofy's still the same. And you know, Donald who don't even attempt to make me do a Donald yeah, Duck impression. Donald is also still the same. Donald is the same, but then for Mickey they're like, "Let's try something new." <laughs> the and it just does not work. The at other all. if you go back and listen like um if you watch uh, old Mickey Mouse cartoons like uh, Pluto's Christmas Tree. Mm-hmm. That's got some weird little in- voice inflections in it where you're like, that doesn't really sound like <laughs> it. It it doesn't it doesn't sound like um, Wayne Allwine who did his voice for like 25, 30 years. Yeah. <laughs> so it really throws it off when you hear anyone else doing it. Man, Mickey's voice is just always unnerves me, which I realized when I went to meet Talking Mickey in the Magic Kingdom, and he's just like, how you doing, pal? And I'm like, oh, I'm doing all right. I was doing better before you, you spoke. Before you spoke without moving your mouth very much. Yeah. And you looked at me with your dead eyes. Like, at least when they don't talk, the soulless eyes don't give much away, because they have to use so much of their body. But... When it is just the just, cold, dead eyes of Mickey Mouse staring at you and be like, you're going to ride the Splash Mountain? <laughs> just, I want you to think of it when that queue is empty and the people in the, in, like, the, the helpers have to, have to, like, talk to him. <laughs> like, they have to make small talk. <laughs> it's like, we don't want to talk about your dog anymore, Mickey. <laughs> Even... Oh, boy. Let's talk about Pluto. <laughs> Damn it. You, you've talked about Pluto for five times now. You're gonna go ride the haunted mansion? The fuck? No, no, I've gotta be here with you. We're working. I don't Jesus. know. If Mickey knows what the haunted mansion is. I think I, I can't remember because I remember he. No, he didn't. Because we were we were like we're probably gonna go ride Splash Mountain after this, and he just kind of <laughs> stared at us. I was like, all right. <laughs> I don't have a, a dialogue tree for that. I'm sorry. I love the concept of water cooler, Mickey. And he's only, like, required to say, like, five things. Yeah, it's been a rough week. My wife left me. Oh, boy. Uh, I mean, I guess. Like, it's just, it's been a real rough one, Biggie. I don't know if I'm going to be able to move on. (laughs) All right, what? Sometimes it could work out. You never know. Like, hey, Mickey, how are those hemorrhoids doing? I'm swell. (laughs) I'm swole. Thank you. That's that's enough. (laughs) Uh, so this is a show where we try to make theme parks while simultaneously apparently attempting to destroy the reputation of a different theme park. Uh, and of course we do have the amusement park known as Apex, which is a superhero themed park where half of the park is based off of, uh, villains. The other half is based off of heroes. And because we're poor, we're having to come up with our own superheroes as well. That's half the fun. Yeah, half the fun was coming is coming up with superheroes because Jesus, we couldn't afford Captain. You're America. really gonna hate my uh, superhero this week. <laughs> You're going to be offended. My, <laughs> mine's pretty rough, but I I guess we'll get into yours first. If you want to get into mine first, uh, that's fine. I we we wanted to come up with water rides, 
That was our challenge, and yeah, we, I said that basically any type of water ride. So it, you know, just you, on water, you know, it just like a like a small world type thing, or it could be a water ride like a like from a water park, I guess. It could be a water ride like a f- or like a splash mountain, or through the water, drowning the people who come into the park. Any way we want. That that might be slightly legally dicey. Nah, dog, it's fine. We give them like a snorkel. I I decided to use as an inspiration uh, the attractions. Uh, it's basically a ride similar in scope to uh, SeaWorld's Journey to Atlantis or uh, the old uh, Bermuda Triangle, which is from like SeaWorld Gold Coast, which I cannot remember where that is off the top of my head. Right. But basically a it, they, they're referred to as water coasters, but they are not water coasters like you would see at a water park where you're in like a giant raft and you're getting pushed around by water up and down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's a different kind. This is more of a – it's like Splash Mountain more. Oh, okay. I was going to say like a roller coaster that almost took you through water like Hulk does at one point, but uh, – Apparently, wherever Bermuda Triangle was – they replaced it with a ride called like the Storm Coaster or something like that, and it's really just like a roller coaster, and you get wet a couple times. Oh, okay. But I mean, these these is I, it has um, aspects of like lift hills and stuff. So I mean, I, I mean, granted, yeah. so does Pirates of the Caribbean, sort of. But I, I don't have really like a, a layout much. I don't even really have much of a idea of like the general path this would take or even much of a story for at least i have two ideas i have a hero based idea and i have like a hero slash villain based idea okay my solely hero based idea is that it well either one they're it's kind of like the 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 superhero is water based i want to say kind of like hydro man he's a villain he's a marvel villain uh, yeah, but yeah, yeah, like just he controls water and can like shoot water, or whatever. But I decided to make the hero side to basically be like you're invited to like tour his lair. It's almost like a Willy Wonka type thing. I, I, I said, <laughs> "Come with me, and you'll see a world of pure aqua hydration." I, I was gonna say Spilly Wonka, but I thought that would be rude. <laughs> I didn't have a way to make the Wonka change into anything uh, water related. Spilly Wonka in the Aqua Factory. But basically, like the ride would be you like touring his like going around in this boat and him like going through scenes and it's basically him just like screwing with you, like just yeah. like really low level like splashes and like water effects and stuff. So you're not getting like completely soaking wet. So it's m- yeah. So he's like he's like a Loki. Yeah. He's like a playful god. It's, it's, so it's it's very, it's it's more like a Pirates of the Caribbean or something. Like maybe there's a little a little drop in it, maybe. But for the most part, it's just like you're yeah. riding through this thing and he's fucking with you. That was my hero version. My villain version would be in like the battle section of the park, the hero slash villain section of the park, and it would be a similar yeah. thing where a hero would be inviting you to like visit his space but then like some villain would come in and try to like mess it up okay and so you're like riding in these boats and you're supposed to just be on this gentle little tour and meanwhile like the whole place is like coming down around you because they're fighting oh okay okay now, I, I know one of the vibes I had for the battle section was that uh, if you decided that you were a hero, you could go in one, and, or villains had a separate entrance. Do you have something like that? Or is this just well, a, hey, some dudes are duking it out while you guys are technically attempting to go on a calm water ride? Uh, we could maybe do either way. I don't know how. I had a bad idea, which was I was like, okay, cool. Well, you could have the heroes and the villains, and the heroes since they're on the side of like your aqu- your aqu- uh, on the side of Spilly Wakwa, uh, he, he, they could be shooting water over at the villains. Until I realized that that means the villains would have to have the anti-water cannons, meaning they'd be shooting hot lava. Yeah, I was gonna say fire. Team. That would be bad. <sighs> 
how how was your trip to Apex, honey? Oh, pretty good. My arms got singed, but otherwise, you know, came out of it mostly untouched. Like I, I, I decided I was going to be a villain, and they gave me a flamethrower. It was really cool. Yeah, this is really badass. Susie decided to be a hero, and they gave her a glorified like super soaker. She made the wrong decision in life. I do like. I do like the idea of the interactive rides. Like, one of my friends put on Facebook recently, apparently at Halloween Horror Nights, they have, like, these hidden buttons inside certain houses. Like, hidden buttons you can press. And if you find them, and if you press them, it causes, in another part of the uh, scare area, scaria, if you will, <laughs> uh, a random person to just get all out assaulted with some random scare. And I was like, that's horrifying and also pretty damn amazing. Here's, that okay, just... here's the idea. Um, you, let's see, it would have to be two separate rides if you were doing hero villain, but I feel like, like one ride would have to be like, oh, shoot, how do I... Okay, this is what you do. Yeah, just build it. Um, Spitball it, baby. You, you got this. You, you, <laughs> you, the, uh, the boats are on a track, right? So you build some way into the track so there's water around you and you feel like you're going through the water, but really you're just like a boat on a, on a track. Right. Like, and you're facing... You start the ride, you're facing out. So it's basically like uh, Toy Story Mania. Yeah, yeah. So on the on the villain side, you have like it, it would be basically very you'd have like three D glasses or something, and it would be very much like you're shooting something at like screens so you can see what's happening. Like there'd be something on the screen and like it'd be like you're throwing rocks at him or something. Like the the hero would pop up and you'd hit him with rocks. I don't know, something like that. And then right. you go to the you get to the point where oh crap you're gonna go down like a freaking flume and like your chairs turn to the side so now you're all facing forward so you don't like go down a fucking flume sideways that might be bad. <laughs> and then the hero side can be the same thing but it wouldn't have screens it would just be like water guns. Oh yeah 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 okay okay. And they they they'd only be able to move so far so that like you couldn't shoot the person sitting next to you but you could shoot stuff around the the ride okay okay i like that so wait uh villain side i assume they're shooting magma rocks yeah i mean i guess you could do like you could put a um if you use laminar flow water you could probably put like a color in it and it would try and the color would travel through the flow of water so you could use like just like red water and blue water or something yeah and then you could i almost like the idea of putting like an l a very strong led also next to your water stream that way you can illuminate it to where it almost looks like it's glowing at least for the first half well, and if you well, put no, like I, I really think if if you do laminar flow water correctly i think light will travel along the path of the water oh shit that i sounds think awesome. i i i don't remember but... i was gonna say we could do that or we could do uh um oh shit what's the term i'm looking for um uh, bl- I was about to say Blu-ray, but I know that's wrong. Black light <laughs> activated uh, pigment. You put that in it, and then just make the whole ride uh, black light, so you can see these bright orange streams. <laughs> so you put in the stuff. You put in. Um, you just use blood, and you use the stuff they use on <laughs> CSI. <laughs> just spray it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh wow, that it, that could have got dark, but yeah. I'm happy we did not go there. So <laughs> they they do have a, a a chemical that reacts to. That, that stuff that I can, yeah, well, it's whatever, uh, that lumen, whatever stuff that Bio, they're using. Yeah, the, the luminescence powder. Yeah, we could, we could just pop that in there with some orange, orange dye, make it look like hot lava. Uh, it'll get out of your clothes, I guess. If it gets on you, you'll be fine. But I had the idea of basically you, like, I don't really want it, I didn't really want to give away the. Like, I don't know how to set this up so that you would end up going out of a flume and go down the side or go down the... Like, the, the building, the show building would kind of have, like, a... Or at least what you saw from the, from the, from, like, the guest Outside. area would be, like, a pyramid shape. Yeah. So you would go down one, one side of it. 
but I don't know how okay. to build that into the show building to make it work. I'm assuming you would go in a back way, and then you would end up going through the ride and some at some point going up and up up and then coming out the front. Yeah. When I had to deal with this problem, I just had a psychic superhero drag them at the top of the volcano. But yeah, yours is a bit more difficult. Yeah, um, yeah that well, was weird. If they if they go, I, I guess they can go through the whole ride. You know, you're facing sideways, and then you get to the point where you're going up, and then that's where you turn to face forward. And so from the outside, you're like, oh, you, it's just a flume. But then you go into the building, and then you go to get in the boat, and you're like, why are we facing sideways? Oh, yeah. So for first-timers, well, it's like, what the shit? Now that I think about it, you could have the vill- you know, the heroes and the villains have two separate rides until they reach the pyramid, and then they both go down, like, side by yeah, side. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. That'd be good. If, yeah, they, yeah. if you could time that properly, that would work. It look, and it would look dope as hell, because you could have, like, this stream of lava and a stream of water right next to each other. It's like, damn, that's a dope-ass ride. All right, now I guess we should move on to mine, um, which was, um, I'll be honest, written in the 10 minutes before this show was recorded, and I've been a little loopy lately, so I'm a, this is going to be a fun one for us. Um, well, I knew I had to come up with our with the hero of the ride, and for some reason, the name Juicy Peaches just kept coming back to me. And so, this is the ride about the hero Juicy Peaches, and the name of the ride is The Juice is Loose. See, that's... I, I, you might have been looking at the back of my uh, my track pants I was wearing. Because that's <laughs> the two words that are on the back of them. Juicy Peaches. That's actually his costume. It's <laughs> just some track pants that say Juicy Peaches. Um, and Juicy Peaches' amazing super super ability is the ability to control any fruit juice around him so he could just re- he's kind of like he he would be like a hydro man someone who could has the ability to control water except instead of being water it's only fruit juice <laughs> so you went to space what 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 power did you get i can control fruit juice <laughs> yeah what did you get i got super strength what about you i'm extremely intelligent what did you get billy <sighs> I can control fruit juice. What are you going to call <laughs> yourself? Juicy Peaches. Duh. Juicy Peaches. Duh. <laughs> no, he was just like, he's upset about it, but then he bites into a peach. He's just like, mm, these are some juicy peaches. And his best friend, who is like, it's his like, uh, f- like sidekick who didn't go into space. He's just like, oh, that's what you are, man. You are a juicy peaches. Um, and so... <laughs> <laughs> and so... Uh, this ride is basically Juicy Peaches has invited you on a tour of his juice orchards, and as you board the boat, it's very nice. It's going to be very... It's, it's, living with uh, the land. <laughs> Listen yeah, to like the living. land we all love. <laughs> it's like living with the land, or even um, the um, AMC movie ride, that with the great movie ride. Um, it was TMC, or TCM, Turner Classic Movies. <laughs> no, AMC, <laughs> with The Walking Dead, you know, my favorite part. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's going to be like the great movie ride where you have uh, one person in the boat who is the actor, and that actor is portraying the role of Juicy oh, Peaches. No. <laughs> and he's uh, he's just kind of taking you through, and he takes you through. This is one thing I thought about is the fact that you advertised Apex as being like a Six Flags where it could be everywhere. And that's something I want to take advantage of uh, with this specific ride. Like, uh, say there's the Floridian version of Apex. Well, you would go through one of his Florida yeah. orange yeah, orchards. Juicy oranges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, of course, uh, well, damn it. I was going to say in Georgia, you'd go through his Juicy Peaches orchard. But... There's a there's a big there's a big turnaround. So you go through like an apple orchard, you go through the fresh Florida origins orchard, and then he's just like, guys, get very. Ex-. Also, uh, the minute you get on the boat, you get a glass of freshly your favorite freshly squeezed orange juice. <laughs> so you get a nice glass of orange juice straight from Juicy Peaches. Uh, oh God, orchards. I'm so glad he's not not named Juicy Onions. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, he's just like, guys, are you ready for this? Because you guys are about to be in for a treat. And you're about to go to the juiciest peach orchard you've ever been to in your entire life. When suddenly, 
uh, a la Jurassic Park. You go off course in Juicy Peaches. This is like, what the f- I don't- I didn't program this. What's going on? Turn around! Turn around! And it's then that you- uh, The whole time you are <laughs> floating in a sea of <laughs> peach juice. So you get to smell the juice. It's very fragrant. It's This is the most fragrant ride of all time. And you feel the boat lift out of the peach juice. And you get on this bridge. And you notice that the bridge is actually carrying you across the park from the land of heroes to, uh, what did I name it? Vilhalla, the land of the villains. And he's just like, no, 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 this isn't right. We, you guys don't need to be here. You don't. And then he take you apparently end up in the lair of the, uh, much like you had a, a fire-based villain. I do have a fire-based villain uh, named Magma. And Magma is uh, Juicy Peaches' arch enemy. He's burnt all of his crops before, and Juicy Peaches didn't stand for it. So you fall into his lair, at which point uh, Juicy Peaches is just like, I already know how to handle this, guys. Don't worry. Then you just hear floodgates open up underneath the boat, and all the juice he was feeding you earlier from his juice spigot spits out and fills magma's lair so now he has the power to fight back with his uh with the juice of his peaches and so now you're floating around in the boat but then magma comes over and he's just like i know how to handle this don't even act like i've not defeated you before and the way i'm gonna do basically you look to the sides of your boat and all of the all of the juice set like oil spills down and it sets the juice on fire so now you have flaming peach juice all around you <laughs> and the way i the way i want to do it is i would have like these uh screen like they'd be small so you can't see them but basically these little plastic screens that protect the oil from getting too close to your boat so that way you're safe and then there are also these little pipes all lined up in the water and when the time is right, you notice that the peach juice is boiling and then steam shoots off as it gets super hot and you feel yourself lowering as the peach juice evaporates. A lovely smell of peaches fills the room. Uh, <laughs> the smell of peaches and of your own doom. And uh, so now Juicy Peaches is powerless. He has no, he has no weaponry. He has no juice. And Magma is like getting closer to your boat and he's like, I will take you out. I will destroy you once and for all, Juicy Peaches. And then, you, much like Popeye, Juicy Peaches finds rolling around in the craft one singular Juicy Peach. And he takes a big bite of it, and he just says his signature catchphrase, which is, That's a Juicy Peach! And then spits. And Juicy Peach just comes out of his mouth, and then uh, basically goes straight into the face of Magma, blinding him just long enough for Juicy Peaches to take control of the cart, turn it around quickly, and zoop you guys up back onto the bridge that took you over. And this is, this is where, this is, I mean, this ride is really going to draw in people. This is a bit of a weenie for the park, because the bridge, as you go back, sets on fire behind you. So if you're just walking through the park, you just see this random-ass bridge start to set on fire, and you're like, whoa, whoa, what the hell is this? And that's just magma chasing after your cart as you go faster and faster, trying your damnedest to avoid the flames of magma. And ju But Juicy Peaches has a plan. And um, whoever's in the front of the cart, well, they have a very special fe uh, special thing they have to do. And Juicy Peaches says, I need you to press that button. And when, when I say go, he says go, you press the button. And all of a sudden, this giant torrential downpour of peach juice comes out of the side of his lair, completely dousing everyone in the cart and quelching the flames as you hit a huge drop and fall into a giant vat of peach juice. And so you would then have that moment of floating after a drop where you're just like, holy sh- what was that? That looks so- And then you look up and you find yourself- in the most beautiful peach orchard you've ever been in your life. The uh, secret stash, if you will, of juicy peaches, fresh peaches. And you just smell the beautiful peaches as you exit the ride. 
uh, and then go your, by your official The Juice is Loose uh, and Juicy Peaches <laughs> brand merchandise in the gift shop. So you have an a, 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 a uh, an employee playing an act uh, playing the hero, and he has to ride this flume with a crazy ass drop in it every ten minutes. <laughs> yes, the dude's got to be jacked. I and, mean, juicy uh, he has to be able to is... spit peach juice like twenty feet. Yeah, seems fairly uh, hard. I think. I mean, that part can be worked around. It's fine. Or you could just like. What it could be is it could be a screen around you because, I mean, I guess all my rides are going to be screen-centric. And he spits the peach juice on the ground and you see this little nasty wad of spit come up and then shoot. So he's like controlling it with his mind. I don't know. <laughs> I just think Juicy Peaches has, has a role here in this company. I mean, I feel oh, like people will forgive it because... I feel like people will forgive it because Juicy Peaches has just, like, the best personality. He's, like, he's a squirrel girl or a Deadpool-esque character where, like, he's not going to be your Apex or your Captain America. He's not your main guy. And that's why people love him. He's a cult classic. So Juicy Peaches. You're going to, as a guest, you're going to go in somewhere. And yes. you're going to ride through the ride, and there'll be at some point you will go back outside in an elevated way so that people can see a bridge being on fire. And also yeah, yeah. to be elevated in order to get you to go down a drop. So you have to go in some building. Yeah. I, I guess you would have to have, like, uh, a. I don't even know how that would work architecturally. I'd have to think about that. I really like that you're, that's the logistics you're worried about and not the <laughs> fact that, that this poor employee of Apex is going to have to wash off sticky-ass peach well, juice thought, like every 10 I minutes. I thought you would fake the peach juice somehow, just use like smellitzers and, and just Why? water. Why would I do something <laughs> like that with just juicy peach juice would be so good? No, we would definitely have probably just tinted water with some smells in it. Yeah, just, and just, it would change. Like, if you go in an apple orchard, oh, it smells like apples. Go in the orange orchard, oh, it smells like oranges. But you know, you know when those peaches come into play, baby. You get hit with some peach juice. I just, I'm just glad that his name isn't pe uh, Juicy Onions. Juicy <laughs> Valencia think, I, Onions. <laughs> I just think that the, the uh, merchandising opportunities for Juicy Peaches is out of this world. You can sell peach, like... Some peach spray to put on yourself, peach flavored candies, juicy peaches, uh, sweatpants. You know, you were, you were, uh, this might be, this might get a, be a lawsuit, but since you mentioned Squirrel Girl, it could just be a female superhero. <clears throat> Excuse me, a superhero. We don't have very many of those, if any. Yeah. I, no, trust me, for a very long time, I was just like, all oh, right, this week I'm going to have a female superhero. We're going to pop in a female. And then I realized, oh, wait, the name is Juicy Peaches. And that's something I don't want to call a woman ever. That sounds like something Mel Gibson would call a female police officer. <laughs> what up, Juicy Beaches? I was in Braveheart. Don't arrest me. Oh, well, then again, he is Australian. Be like, all right, Juicy Beaches. Um... Uh, uh, keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, head over to merch.aloadofpurebs.com. Click in the BS Network section and pick up the official The Juice is Loose shirt. <laughs> the official Juicy Peaches merchandise website, merch.aloadofpurebs.com. If you made a, a shirt that had like a silhouette of like a really buff dude wearing track pants that said Juicy Peaches on the butt, yeah, I, think I know. That would work. Everyone would buy it. It would say the juice is loose across the top, and then you would have him in the background. He's silhouetted, wetted, except for the words "juicy peaches" in orange on his ass. Um. So yeah, I think Jesus, we have got some good additions to the theme park. We have a flaming bridge of death, and a peach drop, and you have, and we some have your ride. Walk. <laughs> we have Spilly Wakwa, where you shoot hot magma at your best friend. Um, okay, so the, uh, obviously I think we've completed this challenge. And unfortunately we do have to announce that we are taking next week off because D Jim is going to be doing some research in the field. Yeah, I, I was going to say that. It was, it's a research trip. Yeah, 
uh, going to Disney World. But uh, so I guess that gives you two weeks to think about my theme, my next challenge, which is in lieu of the fact that Hall of Presidents is got to be opening again soon. Uh, I want us to make our dead people uh, animatronic ride. So it has to be a real person. They must be dead. And then you have to work them into a ride via animatronics. I'm just writing that down. <laughs> You're just casually like, dead people, animatronic ride. Yep. Or it could be a show, I guess. It yeah. could be whatever you want. If if you've so, ever been if you've ever been in uh, Walt Disney's One Man Stream, which isn't called that anymore, yeah. uh, at the in like the second room they have the the dancing man that they they got where they like filmed Buddy Epson dancing and made a little animatronic. I'm gonna just do that, but it's gonna be the actual body of Walt Disney. <laughs> <laughs> like not an animatronic, <laughs> like you have dug up the body of Walt Disney. Yeah, he'll just dance. <laughs> All right, uh, so Jim no. Murphy, <laughs> that is your challenge for uh, two weeks from now. Yeah. Where can these lovely people listening find you? I am on Twitter at Apparently Smart, obviously. Yeah. And uh, I do have another show called A Horrible Premise where we make up television shows. Well, that's on a slight hiatus, but I think it's going to start back up again after my, my lovely research trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and you can find me on Twitter at Scotty Mo. That's S C O T T Y E M O. You can buy my book on Amazon. It's called Queasel Corp. That's spelled Q U E Z A L C O R P. Be sure to check out the Queasel Corp podcast on the BS Network. Find it and all of the other amazing BS Network shows, including this one, over at a load of pure BS dot. Com. You can find us online at opposite-attractions.com. Dash hyphen? What's the best way to say that? It, it can be both. It, dash hyphen. That's another line superhero. Line in the middle. Middle line. Uh, so you can find us at opposite-attractions.com. And, of course, if you are on the Twitter machine, if you like hearing what we got to hear, then you can find us on Twitter at op at show that's spelled O P P A T T S H O W. Are you down with O P P? As you leave the podcast, ladies and gentlemen, keep in mind that if your shoes fill with water, you got out on the wrong side. If you had a good time on this podcast, my name is Scotty Moore, and this has been Opposite Attractions. If you did not have a good time, my name is Blake Tanner, and this is Fight Boys.